Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to look at history, um, a history lesson today using trading cards. Uh, love this app. It's free and uh, it really gets kids um, using an app to really sort their information and summarize and do those different things. So let's, let's jump straight into it. Trading cards. Today, we're going to have a look. Um, if I just log out here just quickly, you can see that you can create multiple users. Now, this is great for kids that are sharing iPads. I, I think sometimes we think everything is one-to-one. -one. So you could have different usernames there uh, in regard to projects. I'm just going to select my username. I'm going to create a new card. Um, and we're going to create a title for our card. For this one, we're going to research a historical event. So uh, in Australia, one that we often use is Gallipoli. So I'll give it a little heading. I'll click on the event. Now, these kind of like templates are important because they give you some leading questions in regard to um, the context of your research. So try and select the right one there. And you can see there's a variety of different things, which is great. I'll press done. Um, and what that'll actually do is give us a card. So um, the thing that I love about this is we've got kind of two parts to it. We can definitely do some design of the card down the bottom, but basically we've got a definition, we've got descriptions. If I actually um, hit on the little photo, yes, I'll let it access. We could bring in a, a little image there of Gallipoli. Um, I can pinch and actually zoom out a little bit, so I might go down. And you can already see how great that looks in regard to putting some research together. So we've got things like um, definition. And then what I love about this is when you actually click on the text bar on the side, it actually has guiding questions. So it talks about what happened at the event. It's actually prompting them to actually summarize and and to really pinpoint the main elements of the research, which is like we've got time, period, and location. We've got the cause of the actual event, so looking at the lead up. We've got the major figures, the individuals who are involved, which is fantastic. Um, if I flip it over, you can see on the back, we've got some significant, interesting facts, personal connection. And at the end of it, we can actually share our, our card there. We can either save it to photos and print it out, for example, or send straight to a printer, email it to a teacher, save to the photos, and then share via, say, a, a Google Drive and actually share it with your teachers that way. It's by the people at Read, Write, Think, and it's just a wonderful way of getting kids to focus on the key ingredients of great research, and that's what I love about it. So that's a quick look at trading cards. Um, if I log out again and just give you another quick look at the different options there, so if I create a new card, we've got things like a fictional person, we've got things like objects. Um, it doesn't have to be a historical object, it could be a brand new object. Um, we've got some vocab and some historic vocab that we could use there, real places, fictional places. We can actually look at nonfiction and fiction. So it gives us real scope to do some great research um, for a variety of different subjects and contexts. So that's Paul Hamilton here signing off for iPad Monthly. Take a look at trading cards, especially if we're doing some research. I, I think it's really, really valuable to use. Paul Hamilton here signing off.